We dive into the 1965 No Mint Mark Washington Quarter Dollar, a coin that could be worth millions. Stay tuned as we explore its fascinating history and how you can spot one that's worth a small fortune. In 1965, the U.S. Mint made a monumental change. Prior to this year, quarters were made of 90% silver. But with the rising cost of silver and growing demand for coins, the mint shifted to a copper-nickel-clad composition. This change marked the end of an era for silver quarters, and the beginning of what we now call the clad era dot. But there's a twist. While most 1965 quarters were made with copper and nickel, some rare examples escaped the mint struck on silver planchets. These rare error coins are highly sought after by collectors and are worth a fortune. So, how do you know if you've got one of these valuable 1965 quarters? There are a few key ways to tell. First, check the coin's edge. Regular 1965 quarters will show a distinct copper color on the edge, due to the copper nickel composition. But a silver quarter will have a solid silver edge with no visible copper. Another tip is to weigh the coin. A regular 1965 quarter weighs about 5.67 grams, while a silver one will weigh slightly more, around 6.25 grams. The rarity of these 1965 silver era quarters is what makes them so valuable. There are only a handful of these coins known to exist, and they've sold for jaw-dropping prices at auctions. In fact, one of these rare quarters sold for over $7,000, and others could fetch even more potentially reaching millions in the future. Collectors are willing to pay top dollar for these coins because they represent a unique moment in U.S. Mint history, when a few silver planchets accidentally slipped into production during the transition to clad coins. That's right, you might have one of these valuable coins hiding in your pocket change right now. With millions of quarters minted in 1965, the odds might seem slim, but it's always worth checking. If you're serious about coin collecting or just love searching through your change, make sure to invest in a good scale and magnifying glass. These tools will help you identify valuable coins like the 1965 silver quarter. And remember, condition matters. Coins in mint or uncirculated condition are always worth more. Who knew that a simple quarter could be worth millions? So, next time you're sorting through your change, keep an eye out for that 1965 No Mint Mark Silver Era coin. You could be holding history in your hands. Collecting Tips and Rare Coin Hunts We're diving into one of the most iconic coins in U.S. history, the 1970-60 Washington Quarter Dollar, also known as the Bicentennial Quarter. While these coins are a common sight, there are rare variations and unique features that could make your 1970-60 mint mark quarter worth a fortune. Let's break down the history, design, and how a small number of these coins have become worth millions of dollars. The unique reverse design features a colonial drummer with 13 stars, symbolizing the original American colonies, instead of the usual bald eagle design. This change made it one of the most recognizable and celebrated coins in U.S. history. Coins in perfect, uncirculated condition can command incredibly high prices. Graded by agencies like PCGS or NGC, a mint state 68 or higher can sell for thousands to even millions. Rare minting errors can turn a regular coin into a collector's dream. For the 1970-60 quarter, errors such as double dies, off-center strikes, or die cracks can significantly increase value. Some era coins have been auctioned for jaw-dropping amounts that a few quarters were struck in silver instead of the regular copper-nickel-clad composition. These rare silver versions can fetch a fortune in auctions or private sales. Now, let's talk about some mind-blowing auction results. In 2019, a pristine MS68 1970 quarter sold for over $19,000. Some rare era versions have been valued even higher and experts believe that as the market for rare coins grows, a 1970-60 quarter in exceptional condition or with a unique error could one day sell for millions of dollars. So, if you have a 1970-60 quarter lying around, take a closer look. You never know. It could be a life-changing discovery. Look for the D near the bottom of the obverse side of the coin, right next to Washington's hair. Look at the coin's wear and tear. 
The closer to mint condition, the better. Use a magnifying glass to inspect the coin for doubling, cracks, or other unusual features. If you spot something, it could mean extra value. If you believe you have a valuable coin, consider getting it professionally graded to determine its true worth. We're diving into a fascinating topic, the 1978 D. Mint Mark Washington Quarter. Could this coin really be worth millions of dollars? What makes it so special, and how does its history impact its value? Stick around as we break down everything you need to know. Asterisk let's start with a little history. The 1978 Washington Quarter was part of a long-standing series, first introduced in 1932 to commemorate the 200th birthday of George Washington. By the 1970s, these quarters were circulating heavily, made from a copper-nickel-clad composition rather than the 90% silver used in earlier quarters. In 1978, the Denver Mint produced millions of these coins, with the D Mint mark representing its origin from that mint. At first glance, it may seem like an ordinary coin, but some rare variations or errors can make certain coins extremely valuable to collectors. For most 1978 D quarters, the value is in their face value, 25 cents. However, collectors are always on the lookout for coins with errors or unique characteristics. One reason some 1978 D quarters can fetch high prices is because of minting errors like double die strikes, off center strikes or an improperly polished die that creates variations in the coin's design. Another factor that increases a coin's worth is its condition. Quarters that have been kept in pristine condition, graded as mint state, MS, by professional grading services like PCGS or NGC, are more valuable than those showing wear and tear from circulation. In fact, some MS 66 and higher grade 1978 D quarters have sold for significant sums at auction. Now, let's address the burning question, could a 1978 D quarter be worth millions? The short answer is, not exactly. While no known 1978 D quarter has reached the million dollar mark, some coins with extremely rare error types or those in top tier condition have sold for thousands of dollars. The myth of millions likely comes from the growing excitement in the numismatic community, where rare coins sometimes make headlines for record-breaking prices. However, if you believe your 1978 D quarter could be a rare error coin, it's always worth having it professionally evaluated. As mentioned, errors like doubling in the design, an off center strike, or any other unusual marking can increase the coin's value. Coins graded MS65 or above are the ones with higher demand. If your quarter is free from scratches, discoloration, and wear, it may fetch a nice price. While these are less common, a proof version of the 1978 D quarter can also command higher prices due to their limited mintage and superior finish. In conclusion, while it's unlikely that a 1978 D quarter will make you a millionaire, certain rare versions or top quality specimens can be worth much more than face value. If you've got a 1978 D quarter lying around, take a closer look. Who knows, it might be a hidden treasure. We're diving into the fascinating history of the 1979 D. Washington Quarter and uncovering if it could really make you a millionaire. Cut to a zoomed-in image of the 1979 D. Mint Mark, with millions of dollars popping up on the screen. The 1979 Washington Quarter was produced by the Denver Mint, which is why it features the small D. Mint Mark just under the ear. 1979 was part of the copper-nickel-clad era for U.S. coins meaning these quarters were not made of silver like earlier ones. Despite this, the Denver Mint struck over 489 million of these quarters. With that large number, it's hard to imagine that any of these could be worth more than their face value, right? Before we dive into the potential millions, let's quickly cover what makes a coin valuable. There are a few key factors, rarity, condition, mint errors, and demand. Coins with unique errors or in perfect condition can fetch high prices at auction. Now, why is the 1979 D quarter special? While most of these coins are common, a select few have rare errors or are in pristine, uncirculated condition. These could include double dies, off center strikes, or even planchet errors. It's these rare occurrences that make the coin worth more than face value. 
and some high-grade examples, certified by PCGS or NGC, can sell for thousands. There have been cases where rare quarters from the same era, including the 1979D, have sold for mind-blowing amounts. For example, high-grade specimens in MS-67 or MS-68 condition have sold for thousands of dollars at auctions. And if you were lucky enough to find a rare error or a nearly perfect quarter, who knows, it could be worth even more. So, what should you look for? Grab a magnifying glass and check the mint mark, the edges, and the details on Washington's face. Look for anything unusual. Errors like doubled dyes or dye cracks can add tremendous value. Also, check the condition. The better preserved your quarter is, the higher the potential value. Scene zooms in on an error coin, showcasing the details. While not every 1979 decorder will make you rich, the possibility of finding a rare error coin or one in high-grade condition is exciting. So next time you're going through your change, keep an eye out for these gems. You might just hold a piece of history worth far more than 25 cents. If you enjoyed this video and want more coin collecting tips and secrets, be sure to hit that subscribe button, like, and share. Who knows, maybe your next quarter will make you a millionaire. We're diving into the fascinating world of modern coin collecting, and we're talking about a very special coin that has captured the attention of collectors worldwide, the 2014 P Mint Mark Quarter Dollar. Could this ordinary-looking quarter actually be worth millions? Stick around to find out. The 2014 P Mint Mark Quarter comes from the America the Beautiful Quarters program, which began in 2010. This series honors different national parks and sites from each state. In 2014, five designs were released, representing Great Smoky Mountains, Shenandoah, Arches, Great Sand Dunes, and Everglades National Parks. The P Mint Mark means these quarters were minted at the Philadelphia Mint, and millions were produced that year. Some 2014 P quarters may have been struck with unique errors, like double dies, off center strikes, or die cracks. These rare variations can drive up the value drastically. If a 2014 P quarter is graded as a perfect 70 by grading services like PCGS or NGC, it could fetch a premium. High grade coins are extremely rare and collectors are willing to pay big money for them. Since the America the Beautiful series appeals to both numismatists and national park enthusiasts, demand for these coins has grown, especially in perfect condition. If your coin is just a regular circulated quarter from 2014, it's probably only worth 25 cents. Some rare era coins from this year have sold for hundreds, even thousands, of dollars. If you're lucky enough to find a pristine, high-grade quarter from this year, you could be looking at tens of thousands of dollars, maybe even millions. In the most extreme cases, some online auctions have reported rare era coins or high-grade examples going for over $10,000, but as with any collectible, the sky's the limit with the right buyer. Look closely for any doubling, missing details, or unusual marks. Coins in mint state condition, with no signs of wear, are much more likely to be valuable. If you think you have something special, send it to a grading service like PCGS or NGC for professional evaluation. We're diving into the fascinating world of the 1983 P Mint Mark Quarter Dollar Coin, a piece of currency that not only holds historical significance but also boasts a value that can reach millions of dollars. Let's explore its story. The 1983 Quarter Dollar was produced by the Philadelphia Mint during a transitional period in U.S. coinage. In the early 1980s, the U.S. faced a coin shortage, leading to the introduction of several new designs and mint marks. The P Mint Mark, introduced in 1980, indicated coins produced in Philadelphia, making it a significant identifier for collectors. This quarter features the iconic image of George Washington on the obverse, designed by John Flanagan. On the reverse, we see an eagle which has been a symbol of American strength since the coin's original design in 1932. However, the 1983 P quarter is notable for its unique blend of features, including its copper-nickel composition and distinct minting process. Now, let's talk about the value. While most 1983 P quarters are worth their face value, a small number of these coins have been discovered with errors or unique characteristics, 
making them highly sought after by collectors. The most notable example is the 1983 P quarter with a double dia verse, a rare minting error that can sell for tens of thousands of dollars. In some cases, auction records show these quarters fetching prices in the hundreds of thousands, and exceptionally rare pieces have even crossed the million-dollar mark. Examine the obverse for any doubling or unusual features. Coins in uncirculated condition will be more valuable. Consider getting your coin graded by a professional service to establish its value. So, there you have it, the captivating history of the 1983 P Mint Mark Quarter Dollar Coin, a small piece of history that could hold significant value. If you enjoyed this video, please give us a thumbs up, subscribe for more coin collecting tips, and let us know in the comments if you have any rare coins in your collection. We're diving into a truly fascinating coin, the 1986 P Mint Mark Quarter Dollar. Not only does it have a rich history, but some of these coins can be worth millions of dollars. Stick around to find out why this quarter is so special. First, let's talk about the basics. The 1986 P quarter was minted in Philadelphia, as indicated by the P mint mark. This coin features the iconic profile of George Washington on the obverse and a majestic eagle on the reverse. Designed by John Flanagan, the Washington Quarter has been a staple of American currency since its introduction in 1932. In 1986, the U.S. Mint produced approximately 1.9 million of these quarters at the Philadelphia Mint. This lower mintage, compared to other years, contributes to the coin's rarity. Additionally, the 1986 P Quarter was part of a special bicentennial celebration of the U.S. Constitution, marking 200 years since its signing which adds to its historical significance. The 1986 P Mint Mark Quarter Dollar has garnered attention from collectors for several reasons. Its limited mintage makes it a sought-after piece among numismatists. As collectors search for rare coins to add to their collections, the value of this quarter has risen significantly over the years, especially for those in uncirculated or high-grade condition. Now, let's get to the exciting part, the value. While a standard 1986 P quarter in circulated condition might only be worth 25 cents, pristine, uncirculated examples can fetch thousands. In recent auctions, some rare specimens have sold for upwards of $1,000 to $5,000. In the rarest cases, if you have one that's particularly well preserved, you could even see values reaching $10,000 or more. Look for scratches, discoloration, and overall wear. Coins in mint or uncirculated condition are the most valuable. Consider sending your coin to a professional grading service for authentication and grading. This can significantly enhance its marketability. We're diving deep into a hidden gem of the coin collecting world, the 1988 P Mint Mark Quarter Dollar. You won't believe its fascinating history and why it could be worth millions. So, let's get started. First, let's talk about the basics. The 1988 P Mint Mark Quarter Dollar was produced at the Philadelphia Mint. This coin features the iconic portrait of George Washington on the obverse and an eagle on the reverse. What's interesting is that this year marked a significant moment in American coinage, as it was part of a series celebrating Washington's legacy. In 1988, the Philadelphia Mint produced over 1.5 billion quarters but there are specific varieties that collectors seek out. The 1988 P quarter has a few notable features. One of the most sought after is the wide rim variety, which is distinguished by its larger gap between the rim and the eagle. This rarity can significantly increase its value. Now, let's take a moment to look at the historical context. 1988 was a unique year in America, marked by economic changes and cultural milestones. The coin reflects the spirit of the time, embodying national pride and the importance of preserving history through numismatics. So, what's this coin worth? While most circulated 1988 P quarters are valued at face value, uncirculated and high-grade examples can command impressive prices. In recent auctions, some have sold for hundreds and even thousands of dollars. But here's the kicker. A rare wide rim version was recently sold for over $100,000. That's right, this seemingly ordinary quarter could be worth a fortune if you have the right one. 
Now, if you're a budding collector, here are a few tips for spotting the 1988 P quarters valuable varieties. Look closely at the rim for any variations, and make sure to check the coin's condition. Coins in mint condition or with unique characteristics are more likely to attract buyers willing to pay top dollar. So, there you have it. The 1988 P Mint Mark Quarter Dollar is not just a piece of pocket change. It's a slice of history and a potential gold mine for collectors. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe for more amazing coin stories. Do you have a 1988 P Quarter? Share your experiences in the comments below. We're diving into a remarkable piece of American history, the 1991 P Mint Mark Quarter Dollar Coin. This coin not only has an intriguing story but can also be worth millions of dollars. So, let's get started. The 1991 P Quarter Dollar, known as the Barber Quarter, was minted in Philadelphia. Designed by the famous engraver Charles E. Barber, this coin was part of a series that replaced the earlier seated Liberty design. The Barber Quarter was produced from 1991 until 1916 and features a classic portrait of Liberty on the obverse and an eagle on the reverse. Let's take a closer look at the design. The obverse displays Liberty wearing a cap adorned with a wreath, while the reverse features an eagle perched on a shield. The 1891 P Mint Mark Quarter has a diameter of 24.26 mm and is made of 90% silver and 10% copper giving it a beautiful luster that collectors love. Now, you might be wondering, what makes the 1891 P Quarter Dollar so special? In total, only about 1.7 million of these coins were minted, making it relatively rare compared to other quarters from the same era. Additionally, certain varieties of this coin, particularly those with specific die characteristics, can be worth significantly more. So, what is this coin worth? Well, the value of a 1991 P quarter can vary dramatically based on its condition. In lower grades, it might fetch around $30 to $100. However, in uncirculated condition, this coin can easily reach prices between $500 and $1,500. But hold on to your hats. For coins with high grades, the value can skyrocket to over $20,000 or even more at auction. So there you have it. The 1991 P Mint Mark Quarter Dollar, a coin steeped in history and value. If you ever come across one of these beauties, make sure to check its condition and any unique characteristics. You could be holding on to a small fortune. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for more exciting content on rare coins. Have you ever found an 1891 P Quarter? Share your experiences in the comments below. Thanks for watching and happy collecting. We're diving into the fascinating world of the 1994 P Mint Mark Quarter Dollar Coin. This coin has a story to tell, and it might just be worth a lot more than you think. Struck in Philadelphia, the 1994 P Quarter is part of the George Washington series, which has been a staple of American currency since 1932. The obverse features the iconic portrait of George Washington, while the reverse showcases a depiction of a bald eagle, symbolizing strength and freedom. The 1994 P Mint Mark Quarter had a mintage of approximately 1.5 billion coins. While that number might sound high, it's the rarity of specific examples that can make certain coins highly sought after. What sets the 1994 P Quarter apart from others is the existence of certain rare varieties and errors. For instance, the 1994 P quarter can be found with striking errors, such as off-center strikes or double dies, which can significantly increase its value. A double die example can fetch thousands at auction. Now, let's talk numbers. While most 1994 P quarters circulate at face value, error coins or those in exceptional condition can be worth much more. Depending on the grade and rarity, they can sell for hundreds or even thousands of dollars. Some of the more extreme examples have reached upwards of $5,000 or more. So, how can you get your hands on these valuable quarters? First, check your change. Look for the 1994 P quarter among your spare coins. Use a magnifying glass to examine for any errors. Additionally, 
keep an eye out for auctions or reputable coin dealers. And remember, always verify a coin's authenticity before purchasing. To wrap up, the 1994p mint mark quarter dollar coin may seem common, but with the right condition and a little luck, it can be a valuable addition to your collection. Whether you're a seasoned collector or just starting out, keep an eye out for those special quarters. We're diving into the fascinating world of the 2004p mint mark quarter dollar coin, a coin that's not just a piece of currency but a collector's treasure worth millions. So, if you're ready to uncover the secrets behind this remarkable coin, let's get started. The 2004p quarter dollar is part of the 50 state quarters program, which celebrates each of the 50 states in the U.S. with unique designs. The U.S. Mint started this program in 1999, and by 2004, they were featuring states like Michigan, Florida, Texas, and Iowa. Each coin showcases symbols and designs that reflect the heritage and spirit of its respective state. Interestingly, the 2004 P Mint mark indicates that this quarter was produced at the Philadelphia Mint, which has been striking coins since the late 1700s. The designs were chosen through a collaborative effort between the Mint and state representatives. Now, let's talk about what makes the 2004 P quarter so special. The obverse features the classic portrait of George Washington, while the reverse side displays intricate designs that vary by state. For example, the Michigan quarter shows a Great Lakes design, while the Texas quarter features a Lone Star. These designs are not just artistic, they embody the pride and history of each state. Additionally, while most 2004 P quarters are fairly standard, certain rare error coins exist, such as the double die and off center strikes. These unique errors can be worth significantly more to collectors. So, what is the current market value of the 2004 P quarter dollar? Most circulated versions of this coin are worth their face value of 25 cents. However, pristine, uncirculated examples can fetch anywhere from $1 to $5. But wait, here's where it gets interesting. Rare error coins, especially those with unique features, can skyrocket in value sometimes reaching up to thousands or even millions of dollars in the right market. For instance, a rare 2004 P quarter with a notable error was recently sold at auction for over $100,000. This highlights how important it is for collectors to inspect their coins closely. If you own any 2004 P quarters, now might be the perfect time to check for those valuable errors. Don't forget to subscribe for more exciting content on rare coins tips for collectors, and the history behind your favorite pieces of currency. And if you enjoyed this video, give us a thumbs up and share your thoughts in the comments below. What's your favorite quarter design? Let's discuss. Until next time, keep collecting, and happy hunting!